First, I would like to say that the AEC is a great idea. I think the first few years has been focused on making sure that we get rid of the tariff barriers, and that's, I think, great. But the question today is that we have to deal with the non-tariff barriers. I liken the problem to do with an iceberg. What is seen is the tip of the iceberg, all the tariff barriers, all the big policies that we can make changes to. That I think we can say quite confidently say we've ticked the box there. But the below the iceberg, below the water surface, that's where the non-tariff barriers are. These are all hidden. This is where the challenges are facing AEC in terms of implementation, in getting businesses to really expand within ASEAN, in terms of trade that had to flourish within ASEAN, until and unless we have a very new and refreshed approach to tackling the non-tariff barriers, the hidden barriers, then I think we will be relatively slow in achieving the objectives of ASEAN. We came up with a very simple proposal, and this proposal has been put forward, and I made a presentation to all the economic ministers within ASEAN, and I got them to vote for it. At the meeting that I made that presentation, all of them collectively supported the proposal, and the proposal was very simple. It was a simple idea of bringing together 100 companies within ASEAN. That means 10 companies from each member ASEAN countries, all together come there. 30% of them will be large companies, another 30% are medium-sized companies, and another 30% are small companies. When you get them together, these are companies that are desirous of expanding their business within ASEAN and their trade. And so once we bring them together, we then identify the real problem, the non-tariff barrier problem that they encounter as they want to expand within each host country. So the 100 companies will then move between location to location. Let's say they come to Kuala Lumpur. All the companies that are expanding to expand within, within the region, the problems they encounter in Malaysia, we will get all the private, all the government agency people in the room. And then we will then identify the problem and resolve the problem. And we then move within all the other 10 countries to try and find resolutions. Now, I would, like to has, I would like to clearly state here that we should not do a bypass. That means find solutions for that company alone. We must find a way how to open the path. That means solve the problems, open the path for other companies to then follow. So that is more sustainable. So if you like, we don't just want to solve the problem for those 100 companies, but we want to use the opportunity to open the path for other companies to then pursue that. That's how I think practically we are then address the real issues with regard to the non-tariff barriers. First of all, we are working with the business community, the ASEAN Business Council. We are asking them, using their, uh, their network, to identify within each of those countries the 10 from each country. 10 large, 10 medium size, oh, sorry, three large and, uh, and uh, three medium size and four small size companies coming together. And so once we get them together, then we will move between the countries. That's the logistics of doing it. The cost will be very simple. We have to hire, obviously, uh, venues for them to meet together with the government people in a collective room, and we have to pay for doing that. And then uh, we also uh, we expect uh, that uh, the facilitators will have to pay for their hotels and their, their travel. But my suggestion that I put forward was, and this has been supported by all and sundry, the businesses believe that they are prepared to take half of the cost, and then the government folks are also prepared to say they will pick up half of the cost. Now, considering the fact that we intend to have small companies there, our suggestion is that the total cost is borne predominantly by the government and also the private sector, but the large companies and medium-sized companies will take the bulk of the cost. But uh, I, would has, I would want to emphasize here that the cost is there's no profits involved in the facilitation work. This is all about making sure that we pay for expenses that are involved in the facilitation process. The key for, for us is within the next uh, few weeks or so, we just want to work with ASEAN Business Council if they can come with the 100 companies. Today we sent out a form 
and we distributed it to, uh, to a lot of participants and I think quite a lot of them have volunteered and they, they like this project so I think that's good. And so after that then uh, within the month of June we expect to assemble a lot of people for onboarding exercise. But our real face-to-face -face activity uh, that is within the month of uh, uh, all the way July, August or September thereabout but I think the face-to-face -face, the real face-to-face -face work is no more than one month.